Okay, Corey, now you say that Jessie, uh, that her body language is scaring me in a way. How? So, initially, she's pretty open. She seems inviting, but once you start talking to her, it's like she goes left. Like, she'll cut her eyes at you like no other. She'll roll her eyes. She might fold her arms. And if she really's not interested, like, let's say she's a guy, she will turn towards her friends, cross her leg, and do, like, this little uppity hand raise. Like, why is he talking to me? And nobody wants to talk to somebody like that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Now, this is interesting. So, Jesse, wh where do you think it is that you're going wrong when it comes to your body language? Okay, Corey's right. Okay, I will. I will look at you. I will fold my arms. I might even lean away, give you a little attitude. Because I'm trying to figure out if you approach me the wrong way, for example, you come at me with a, hey, shouty, who are you talking to? I don't know why you're talking to me. You can go on about your business. But it's all, like, what I'm given at that moment. So, if you approach me with an excuse me, miss, because my daddy raised me right, you know? I know how I'm supposed to be approached, and because of him, I have these very high standards. So it's all, I'm, I'm just giving you back what I receive. So if you give me something that I don't like, yes. I'm trying to figure out who you talking and to. And that's why she's single now. Yeah, but see, you just gave it to me. I ain't giving nothing to you. <laughs> no, okay. Blanco. Yes. Based on what you've heard, what do you think Jessie's doing wrong? She has these high expectations. So it's her mindset that if a man is not going to approach her respectfully by her definition, then she's going to shut him off. She's going to turn him off. And that can be a very big mistake because he's trying to figure her out. He's trying to figure out a way to approach her. So if her mindset is negative, her body language is naturally going to flow and it's going to be negative. So it makes it hard for someone to come up. If she were to say, have a different mindset and say, all right, let me give him the benefit of the doubt and smile and make it more inviting, she might be surprised yeah. at what, what might follow. Yeah, I mean, I like that. I like that a lot. Ladies, also, let me say this to you and all the ladies listening. Do you understand what it takes for a guy to come up to you in the first place? We all have to grapple with the fact that we could be facing rejection. Okay. I think your friend is right for bringing you here, cause... She mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nice. You nice to who? I'm a, I'm a real bubbly person. Once you get what? past... I'm so serious. You a real bubbly person. I am so serious, Steve. You, you see your bubbly person win once you get past what? If you can get past the, the mm. If you can get past the mm, mm. it's some bubbles back it's there. It's a whole bunch of bubbles. It's a bubble field. I promise. Yeah, that's why you by yourself. Because <laughs> <laughs> we can't get to the bubble field. See, inviting the guy into the bubble field don't mean that you're gonna let him bust the bubbles. But he gotta at least be able to know there's some damn bubbles back there. <laughs> you know, that's all it is, man. Well, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this to the test. Now, over there, we got a bar set up. All right, so let's go. All right, Zach, come on out. After the break, we're going to see how a few simple changes with Jessica's body language can make a world of difference. So when we come back, we're going to find out how this works. Don't go away. There's more to this live experiment. You don't want to miss it. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're going to enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.